Hey yo, what's good? It's your boy Dro Fontaine of Dro Fontaine Music, you understand? And what's going on? It's your boy Dro Fontaine of Dro Fontaine Music. And I just got a question about um, importing MPC sounds into uh, Machine. And yes, Machine can import um, MPC files, um, but it works just a little bit different. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, to the left over here, you see I have an MPC uh, kit. Okay, I have some bass, I have a violin, and I'm going to load these sounds in to show you actually how to get your uh, MPC sounds in. You know, because I'm also a, uh, a user who, you know, I made a transition from the MPC, but I still use my MPCs a lot of times um, because the language that the MPC uses to read, you know, I have the newer models that use CF cards, SD cards, you know, things of that nature. The older models use uh, floppy disks and things like that. Now, the all programs and all sequence files and MPC machine will not read. Okay. So if you have, uh, you know, a pattern sequenced out, okay, like in the MPC, it has a mode, you hit shift and song mode. And what happens is you arrange your sequences from the MPC inside of uh, the song mode. Okay. And it arranges it in a, uh, a column, kind of how it does here in machine. Machine plays, uh, you know, linearly like this here. In a song with MPC, it kind of plays going down like this. Okay, so that all program sequence file machine will not read, but it will read your program files, you know, such as your banks, um, WAV files, and things of that nature. Um, MP3s on MPC, you know, I've, I've, I've had it in my MPC actually read MP3 files at times. Some it will, some it won't. But anyway, um, it works like this. You you know, if you have a, a CF card drive or a, a multi card drive, you just, you know, take that out of your MPC, put it in your computer, drag it onto your desktop. Okay, once it's on your desktop, machine will read it. For example, how it's doing here, it shows the folder and it's showing the program files. They're all sequence and all program files, they're not showing up, but they are there. So don't get confused and think, you know, like you did something wrong, you didn't. Machine just won't read it. So what you do is you just simply click on your uh, your program file here, like so. Okay, now the MPC import dialog menu comes up. Okay, now you have two options here. You can import a single bank or you can use banks one through four, which is A, B, C, and D on the MPC. And also shows your uh, your sounds here, your pad sounds. Okay, so in this particular instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just import all the banks. Okay, and those banks show up like so. And now, when you notice down here, you see the sounds one through sixteen are now there. You immediately notice that again, your patterns from your MPC will not show up in machine, but it will you know read your sounds. So then, for the sake of sanity. I will just label this, you know, bank A. Bank B, you know, however you want to do it, then you come over here. You know, if you want to label this uh, kind of an MPC format, if you even label this sequence one, like so, then you know you might want to go over here and label this sequence too, just to make it easier to understand, you know, if you're coming from an NPC. So, it, you know, it clicks in your, in your mind a lot better. You're like, okay, well, this is my first sequence. This is my second sequence, you know, and on and on and on. That, that'll help you understand machine a lot easier that way. Okay, same with your bank over here. You know, again, if you, if you want to name this sequence one, as you would an NPC, you know, that'll help you understand a lot better, you know, uh, coming to machine, you know, and then you get more comfortable, you'll name it, whatever, you know, and again, you have eight groups of machine, which doubles the MPC. So if you're over here on bank D, for example, and you want to load another sound, you, you, you would use another program file. This program file is just for the bass only. Okay. So then we could jump over here, maybe like some violin sounds. Same thing comes up, same options. If you want to import a single bank or all banks, you have that option. Again, here's your sounds. And again, 
we have the sounds coming up and for the sake of sanity again we can name this bank C bank D you know or you know if you want to label as a uh, a sound or whatever and again your patterns and you name them however you name them whatever you're uh, you're comfortable with and that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, you can you can also read you know wave files if you just want to drag and drop you know your wave files. Uh, another way that you can do it um, is with MIDI, with your MIDI cables. You can uh, route audio. You also can use your MPC to actually um, control machine. You can use you can also can use your MPC to trigger drum sounds on your pads, just like the uh, the machine hardware controller would. You know, I'm not sure if, any, if anyone is familiar with that, but the MPC is a MIDI production center, meaning that it can control anything that has MIDI. That was the purpose of the MPC is to basically control anything out here by using its MIDI, its, its internal MIDI. Uh, with machine, you can do the same also, but you would have to basically go through your controller editor template. <clears throat> now, with the controller editor template. Um, I have I have controller editor templates that you can download out of my, out of my VIP uh, database, you know, to control. I got I got custom templates for like Reason, uh, Pro Tools, uh, you know, Ableton Live, things like that. Um, other than that, that's pretty much how you get the sounds from the MPC inside a machine. And of course, when you're done with your work, you would just save your work. Now, keep in mind when you save your working machine, it's not gonna uh, save it as an MPC file as an all program sequence program so you can load it up inside of uh, your MPC it's still gonna be a machine file okay um, the only other way you can get it in your MPC you know if you want to drag and drop the audio to your desktop if you want to mute um, certain tracks off you know and just drag and drop um, solo sequences you can do it like that and put it back in MPC for whatever reason if you want to chop up whatever you do in the machine and things of that nature. Again, you just have that option. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is your boy, Joe Fontaine of Joe Fontaine Music. You know, be sure to come by my website, which is www.digitalmusic.yolasite.com. Be sure to subscribe on my YouTube page. You know, sign up as a VIP member for exclusive content, such as free beats. I have free drum kits. You know, free everything on my database. It's all up for grabs and no monthly fees. It's just a one-time fee. This locks you in for a lifetime subscription. So no matter if it's a year, two, three years down the line, you still can come inside the VIP database and get, you know, whatever's going on at that time for free. Yeah, man. So that's pretty much it. You know, showing you how to import your sounds from your MPC into machine. And then from that point, you know, you just go on, you know, if you want to do your uh, your mastering and things of that nature, you know, you you know, you can jump over in your master tab, you know, add a, add a certain plugin or you know, some, you know, some to that effect. You know, and, you know, basically do whatever it is you want to do right here. Just, just plug in, just uh, altering my voice a little bit. But, you know, again, you know, you have that option. You know, because, you know, or if you wanted to come in here and assign, you know, macro knobs and things of that nature, you know, you have that option. I'm going to take this off. You know, because when, when you're coming from the NPC, you know, you're basically, if you don't have an effects rack built into your NPC or if you don't have the expansion card, you know, you might want to use machine to actually access some of the um, the effects. You know, if you want to bring your drum sounds out more, if you want to have your kicks hitting a lot harder, you know, you know, if you don't have it running through a mixer or things of that nature, machine can come in pretty handy for that. So I figured this was this was a pretty important tip. You know, I'll go ahead and share it with you guys. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. It's your boy, Joel Fontaine of Joel Fontaine Music. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Hey, yo, what's good? your boy Drew Fontaine, the Drew Fontaine music, you understand? It's VIP, son. Checking out another banger. 
from your boy Drew Fontaine, the Drew Fontaine Music. <laughs>